All right, uh, I just, I wanted to try honestly that new VL mode on my camera and I'm like, I need a fantastic spot for that. And I think I found it, just wait for it. I promise you a place special. I mean, look at that, how crazy that. So that is most definitely uh, Monaco that you can see over there. I am just up there. I just found that spot. I came for uh, a place they have here, which is on the historical way of the um, um, place uh, of the road made by August and uh, mostly the Romans so this is really the the first years of the actual uh, uh, time we are living right so literally something around 2000 years ago and uh, that would be uh, Italy over there that you have literally utterly over there um, I'm so happy to be here I'm so happy to be here because um, if I get in the sun it's gonna be even better I'm so happy to be here. Why? Because, well, first I really wanted to show you such a place. Um, I am currently uh, taking some notes. I was currently taking some notes yesterday on uh, Chagall. I was taking some notes on Chagall. You know I have a, a massive interest for Chagall, which is a kind of a complex because I both, I both really, really... Um, I have an interest in his work, I have an interest in the, in the, in the guy that decided to throw himself into religion and, uh, and on the other side I was uh, reading again my notes um, that I took on Mark Rothko. Uh, you can check, I did an entire uh, video on Rothko uh, right there. And, um, and I realized something funny, I realized something funny, it's, it's really a reflection on the relationship between uh, art and um, Art and mostly um, religion, art and really, or, or let's let's call it maybe spiritual thought if you want. I prefer to call it religion because or religious thought or whatever. I have to be careful because it's a bit a bit deep behind me. And I was realizing something. I was realizing if you if you look at people like uh, Matisse, uh, Matisse apparently was never like a super duper religious man and he will finish by making a chapel that is quite famous here on the Riviera. Uh, a guy like Chagall on the contrary will be uh, throwing himself into religion, especially Hasidism, um, and really study religion, uh, spending years reading the Old uh, Testament, which is to me right now becoming a more and more um, interesting book for sure. I'm reading the whole testament more and more as a, as a really uh, monument of the history of human beings. Uh, the, and I realize the New Testament interests me less and less uh, for some reason, which it did and, and might interest me again eventually at at one at one point, right? So um, well, I'm saying that because a guy like Chagall, we will spend his life reflecting on religion. I think his work for some reason is populated with so many people. This it, the, the population in, in Mark Shanghai's painting is amazing, right? There's always like crowds and people doing this and the good, the bad, the good. It's a bit like in the Bible, really, like really it's the image of uh, the Old Testament like this. Like, there's, there's so much story happening at the same uh, uh, at the same time that the book is literally fascinating and uh, you can I'm gonna throw some uh, examples right there that I've seen all the time because I literally live in the street of the Museum of um, Chagall and um, and what interests me on this one is um, that on Rothko on the country uh, Rothko was also coming from a, a Jewish uh, family and uh, went all the way um, to the US and tried to reject uh, religion as much as possible and clearly it kind of failed on this one because at the end his, his, his work is only black and white and is getting more and more religious and even his writing I think are, are pretty religious to me um, I was thinking also in a theory because I'm writing a book on Paris right now that uh, I read in a, a, a 
dictionary of philosophy that um, this philosopher was really scared that uh, tourist or tourism was becoming a religion well you know what I think it's actually quite a good idea that tourism might be a fantastic religion it might be a fantastic religion I know as a tour guide that make me kind of easy position I give you this one right but <laughs> that's not why I was thinking about that I was thinking about that because going through the world trying to discover people trying to discover other culture it sounds like a religion to me most definitely and I'm going to go back in the shade because the sun is getting like super duper aggressive but I have to be careful because it's really <laughs> really deep uh, right there and I realize that new veal mode is working fantastically with the light um, so Rothko not really just is making mostly uh, religious um, uh, uh, writing so I think his work is like amazingly religious then I was thinking about um, Chagall I was thinking about uh, Matisse and I realized the relationship to religion or what you can call uh, religious thoughts per se do not need to be related to your personal religious uh, background uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the way you raised and the way your family raised you is 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 interesting for that and and your relationship to myth and mythology uh, for example I read in my notes yesterday but it's a fact that is well known that uh, Marth Rothko was really into reading uh, Achille uh, uh, really one of the first uh, uh, um, writer of tragedy uh, in Greece never forget uh, tragedy and tragic have nothing in common. Uh, never, never, never forget that, please. Uh, so that's Achille, the Trojan, stuff like that. Um, Persians. And uh, and Bacon also, I want to say something about uh, Bacon and religion and, uh, and also his fascination for uh, Greek uh, tragedy. And something you have to remember when you think about Greek tragedy and you can think, uh, if you look at the biography of this guy, at the kind of work they did that it's really they had like kind of all tragic kind of life uh bacon lost like everything his family his wife uh, uh, not not bacon bacon lost his, his boyfriend in, in, in a awful uh murder um i mean uh, rothko uh sacrificed his, his life his, his wife is like <laughs> his wife left him because she was making too much money and, and he, he didn't have enough money. I always find that very ironic when you thought Rothko was actually uh, will become very short after one of the most expensive painters on the surface of the earth. Um, I'm also thinking about, uh, so I mentioned Beckon and the tragedy of his life, uh, talking about his demons as well. Um, Chagall, I mean Chagall is amazing because it, it's a bit like a for example, if you take two philosophers like uh, Heraclite and Democrite, right? I'm going to put those names here, uh, Heraclite and Democrite, okay? Uh, because that's not how you pronounce those guys in English. Um, so the first one uh, was really always depressed and kind of sad face when the other one was really super happy. That's what we call the uh, presocratic, but it's in a wrong uh, nickname. But these guys uh, were really having... Uh, a vision and, and if you think about tragedy and I'm, I'm gonna finish that video on that if you want to think about tragedy what is interesting with tragedy I'm gonna keep walking on this one if you want to think about tragedy you have to imagine because this place is so beautiful you have to imagine that um, those, those people were thinking that tragedy is arriving between the invention of democracy which was uh, you can imagine uh, kind of a tough one and really the beginning of uh, philosophy so that's really a tool that was most definitely needed to uh, um, to go through uh, through such a place right so su such a movement of uh, history right I'm gonna leave you uh, on this view of Monaco thank you so much for watching you see it yeah okay. thank you so much for uh, joining laughing museums do you sums up if you enjoy that kind of a complex story today but I guess the whole idea is the relationship between thinking the world in a religious or non-religious way your thoughts and um, and the relationship of the heart thank you so much for watching and don't forget no matter what you do if you're not doing it with a smile well you might be doing it wrong you guys take care